Oshi Zushi is made by pressing rice and toppings into a block shape in a special mold called Oshibako to create a perfect rectangle that can be sliced and served into one bite sides. The root of Oshi Zushi dates back to the 15th century when people put seafood ingredient with cereal in a wooden container for the fermentation process. And even today, some traditional restaurants follow the original procedure. The Oshi Zushi demonstrated in this movie is more the current style of sushi, using the special container designated for the ready to serve modern Oshi Zushi, so you don't have to wait for years to be fermented. Prior to start making, familiarize yourself with the Oshibako. Usually it is a wooden box, but you may also find a plastic or silicone ones. In either one, basically it is consisted of the same structure. The bottom base, the side of the box, and a top press. Prepare sushi rice. The best timing to use it is about one hour after it's cooked. It is thoroughly steamed, but not too hot nor too wet. Around at a body temperature is the best. Once you have prepared the rice and ingredients, wet your fingers and oshibako with vinegar water to prevent the rice from sticking to it. If you're using a silicone box, pan coating spray will work as well. Assemble the box with the bottom base and the side of the box to cover it, so that the top is open. Pickled mackerel is the most commonly used for the classic Oshi Zushi. Start by adding your toppings on the bottom of the box. Once you have a layer of the topping, spread the rice into the box to cover the entire ingredient up to just below the rim. Make sure to fill the rice right into the corners and keep the amount of the rice even all over. Use the top piece of oshibako to press down on the rice. Adjust the amount of rice by adding more into the box if the layer is uneven and make sure the rice is pressed down firmly. Flip the box over so the side of the box smoothly drops down to the bottom. Remove the bottom base which now comes on top. Push up the top press to separate from the side frame. Gently move it onto the cutting board and slice into bite sized pieces. Another example with salmon. If you want to add anything in between, put the rice halfway, spread the additional ingredient on there, and cover more rice to finish the layer. Decorate on a plate as you desire. 